All right, it's been a long time, but I finally got some work done on these uh, cylinders for the citation here. I took them in, got them bored and honed out, 20 thou. That's what it took to get them to all clean up. Uh, called this one here. This was all JB Weld, so tigged it all up and then faced this off and re-drilled and tapped it, so that's all good to go. Much stronger and better than JB Weld. I got the uh, crankcase halves here in a bag. I'm gonna take those in and wash those up. Just cleaning up some parts here. Uh, got the gasket kit, I got the new pistons. So everything I need to get this thing back together. I got rid of the rest of the sleds for the summer, so I'm gonna focus on this one for a bit, get it running, and then it's gone, and then I'm gonna pull the SRX chassis back in. Some more parts here. And so yeah, that's what I'm working on tonight. I uh, won't get much done tonight because I got to clean up those uh, case abs, but um, clean this this shroud up here, uh, and then I'll start uh, getting those cleaned up, and then get the crankcase assembled. So time to work. So once again, you want to check your uh, ring end gap as usual. So you, like I said it before, uh, you set your ring in there. I use the piston here to kind of square it up in the cylinder, and then you want to get your feeler gauges out and check that gap right there so that's the gap you want to check so this uh, this bore here is 60 62 millimeters so you want a ring end gap of 10 to 25 thou. so get my feeler gauges out here uh, set that to both the middle point and uh, check that gap and if it's not good I'll get a little file and some sandpaper and file that gap a little bigger but to me that looks like it's going to be good, but I'll double check anyway. And as always, I use SPI pistons. They're always uh, a good piston. I've never had any issues with them, so I'll continue using those. All right, so I'm just out here getting this uh, crankcase assembled today here quick. Uh, got the crank all cleaned up and all, uh, all oiled up and all new O-rings on all the bearings and new seals. So right now I'm just uh, putting the sealant on here. I just use this Moto One stuff and just squeeze it on, and then just uh, just brush it around nice and evenly. So get this assembled here, quick, and then uh, I think that'll be it for today. And then I'll keep going another day. All right, so I got the case halves back together, and uh, if you remember, I marked the stator plate here for timing. So uh, I just lined that up again and just bolted that back on. But it's pretty much all going to get done today. So I'm glad I got that accomplished. Now I just got to get the cylinders on and. We'll be good to go. Well, here's where I'm at with this motor right now. I'm back out here tonight again. I've, this is probably my fifth attempt at getting this motor together. So um, I'm here at back out tonight and I'm going to get this thing done. All right, there we are. Another engine rebuild in the books here. So this one's all done. Um, just ready to bolt it back in the chassis here. But I'm going to take this guy here and Take it to the car wash and give this a good clean under here before I put that motor back in. And then uh, I found a track, so I'll get this track taken off. And uh, she's pretty bad. And get that replaced too, so. All right, I'll do another video when I go to reinstall this motor another night.